Hi, welcome to the second episode of this navigation series. In the previous episode, we learned how to use navigation UI, implemented a bottom navigation bar in our app, and also added a selection fragment to enable or disable coffee tracking. However, whether we disable or enable the coffee tracker, users can still navigate to the coffee list fragment, which doesn't seem quite right. In this episode, we'll implement conditional navigation and direct our users to make a selection when they launch the app for the first time. We'll use the Data Store API to persist the user's selection and use this to decide showing the coffee destination in the bottom navigation. OK, enough talking. Let's dive in and see how to do that. To follow along, you can check out the code from this repo, which I linked in the notes below. Let's do a quick review of changes I made since last episode. First, I added a user preferences repository, which uses the data store API to persist the user's selection. To access the repository, I made some changes in view model factories and how donut list and selection view models are constructed. The app now can be in three different states. Donut only, which means the user has disabled the coffee tracking functionality. Donut and coffee, which means the user wants to track both donut and coffee consumption. And finally, not selected, which means the user hasn't made a selection yet and is possibly running the app for the first time. Or maybe they just have a hard time making up their mind. Now that we are caught up, I'll start implementing conditional navigation within the selection fragment. First, I get an instance of selection view model, so I get access to data store. Next, I observe the user's selection and use it to restore the status of the checkbox. I also update the state when the checkbox is clicked by calling save coffee tracker selection function. This will persist the user's selection. Now it's time to update the bottom tabs with the user's selection. If the user chooses to disable the coffee tracking, the only option left in the bottom tabs will be the donut list, which means we can safely remove the bottom tabs. In main activity, I add an observer and update the visibility of the bottom navigation according to user's selection. Running the app in this state, you'll see that enabling or disabling the coffee tracker adds or removes the bottom tabs from the app. This is great, but wouldn't it be nice if we automatically sent the user to make a selection when they run the app for the first time? Donut list is the default fragment and our start destination. This means the app always starts with the donut list. I check if the user previously made a selection and trigger navigation to selection fragment if they haven't. Before I test this, I uninstall the app from the device so that I'm sure there are no saved preferences from my previous runs. Now, when I run the app, it takes me to the selection fragment. Later launches of the app will remember the selection I made and navigate me to the correct start destination. And that's it. We added conditional navigation to the Donut Tracker app. But how can we test this flow? Deleting the app or the app data each time before running the test doesn't seem so ideal. This is where testing comes to rescue. I create a new class called OneTimeFlowTest in Android test folder. Then I create a test called TestFirstRun and annotate it with addTest. Now I can start implementing the test. First, I create a TestNavHost controller by using the application context. I also set the navgraph from the app to the test navigation controller instance I just created. Now that the mock navigation controller is ready to use, it's time to create the scenario. To do that, I start the app with the donut list fragment and set the mock navigation controller instance I created before. 
then check if the app automatically navigates to the selection fragment as expected. Now I run the test and wait for the result. As you can see, the test passes with flying colors. Or, well, maybe just green. In this episode, I added conditional navigation to the Donut Tracker app and also added a test to verify that the flow works. With conditional navigation, the Donut Tracker app will trigger the one-time flow to take the users to the selection fragment when they launch the app for the first time. If the user chooses to disable the coffee tracker, the app removes the coffee list from the navigation menu. Now the coffee tracker functionality is complete. In the upcoming episodes, we'll learn how to use nested graphs and modularize this app. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.